I'm Henrik Schwartz. I'm uh, making electronic music since a very long time and since more than 20 years I'm, I'm doing it as my main job. So I, I travel, I play a lot of shows and um, I also produce. In here uh, I had the chance for the first time uh, my, my own room where I can do whatever I want and, and then yeah I walk in and then you you start building it and it kind of never ends. You start putting things here and there and then you try it out. You start putting the speakers here and there and you try it out and then you change the speakers and then you change the cables and then you change the converters and, and so it's, it's an ongoing process I would say, yeah. We have another studio in, uh, in Kreuzberg still. I'm, I'm sharing that with um, uh, Frank uh, Wiedemann from Arm. And uh, when we set up the studio, um, we realized a few things are not perfect. So we started doing um, acoustic treatment and we still couldn't get um, a few things right. So, um, and that's when we met uh, uh, Peter Dietz. So one day he came and he put everything there, the, the measurements and and that was when we were like, okay, that's, um, that's very different to everything we had heard before. I was shocked in a way, in a good way. It's really changing your, your listening experience. You have to adjust to it because it's, it's so intense that the difference is really uh, massive, I would say. So we put it there in this studio and, and then I thought maybe it's also, this is a good idea for here as well and and so we um, I think just a couple of weeks later we tried it here and it was the same effect uh, where I where I thought ah okay so this is um, it helps a lot to um, to make things better what I found most impressive is um, the, the phase correction I think because that's an it's a new experience a new listening experience it's kind of you, you feel kind of you lock into the sound so that that's some that's how I would describe it so I didn't hear anything like that before I mean it's it is um, it is a technical thing going on of course but it's a very interesting uh, listening experience and and it makes everything very clear yeah you get this 3d effect in front of you and that's what I think I, I haven't heard that before. We haven't really measured the room but of course you when you listen you realize okay there's a huge uh, uh, hole in the base here um, that's something you can uh, you do a sweep and and you can hear it pretty easily well, that there's a lot going wrong and um, we found it pretty difficult when you do it with um, acoustic treatment, especially when it comes to bass, uh, we found it super difficult to uh, find the right things. And we also, we even built uh, bass traps that didn't work in the end. There is some physics involved that are really, really difficult to control, I think. So for me, I, I see it, it's a tool. So you're trying to improve things all the time. And, and then you have a tool that might show you what's wrong. It's pretty affordable compared to acoustic correction and it's more uh, so you will have quicker results. I, I was also thinking wouldn't it be possible to have it as a software uh, without the box because um, it's even more converters that are running this all, all stuff that is in the chain but I haven't heard of a software solution that could do the same thing. I've rec recommended it already to, to many people. Um, yeah, because everybody has the same problems in the end. So everybody is working in, or many people work in rooms that are not perfect for music. And so they might need help. I'm very sure that the system has a strong effect on the way I work. Yeah, because it, it's, it's um, you make decisions all the time. You make, uh, when, you, when you produce, you make a hundred decisions every minute. And so if you have a system that, that is between your computer and your speakers, of course it will affect um, the result uh, yeah, drastically, I would say. This whole place is an, I see it as one instrument. And, and the Trinov is one part 
of that instrument. So, and I always change something to, to keep things going. And, and so that's what I like a lot about the Trinity. You can, you can do that. It, it gives you the freedom to do that because you, you put something somewhere, you measure, and you get a result. And then you can say, I like that. And then you listen and check if that, what, what, does, what the system says is actually also what you hear. I would maybe compare it to um, glasses that you wear because your eyes are not, not that sharp anymore. So you have all the, there's all these kind of things that can happen to your eyes. Yeah, you have a twist or you, you can't see the colors right. Or I don't know, maybe one eye is only is not very sharp. And so you have these glasses that correct so you can see.